Hi, it's Denise Matthew here. Today I'm going to do a crystal point necklace um, that I got these really nice brand new uh, crystal points quite inexpensively. I'll have the link for where I got them. Thought they were really cool and, and I thought um, I this would be a great design for them and it's just very simple just hanging there like that. And um, just a long piece of chain. And the other way to do it is you can add charms if you like. If you don't have the crystal points, I have these charms as well. And uh, there's a lot of potential for uh, different designs. So let's get started. To start out with, you can use um, one length of chain um, if you have a long chain. And sometimes you can buy a bulk chain. But if you don't have bulk chain, there's another option. And it's just to take two chains and to attach them. Now there's a couple ways you can attach them. Just put a um, clasp in the center of them and just attach it with jump rings. And then the other end, you would attach your beads, which I'll show you in a minute. The other option is something that I like to do, is I like to just take a bead. Now you can use clear, you can use something that ties in with the beads that you're using, or you could even use, like um, right here I used a gold bead to attach these two lengths of beads, uh, of chain. So it's, it's really what you want to do. So all you do is just do a regular loop. I don't have the link for how to do that um, on the bottom. So just do a regular loop, attach your chain, wrap your loop, trim it, make sure there's no wires sticking out, and then thread on your bead, another loop, don't close it, you're just going to keep it open. Try and make it sort of the same size as the other one if you can. Okay, like that. Slide your other chain on. Right onto that loop, so you would have that so far. Then all you do is close your loop. And then you're gonna have your length of chain. And as I said, you could easily put your clasp there instead. But when you're doing that, just make sure your chains are at equal lengths. Now, if you don't have equal lengths of chain and you just want to throw a, a bead in the center, you can do that if you're not too concerned about it. It's really um, how particular you want to be. I'm perfectly fine with lengths that are not exactly the same. Okay, so now that that's done, just straighten out my loops. Everything looks good. So now I'm left with um, a length of chain that's about... I think about 36 inches. Now you can go a little uh, smaller than this, uh, shorter in length. Uh, I would suggest probably at least a 24 to get sort of the effect you want because you do have to take in, can, into consideration that you're going to do a knot. Um, but then again, you can go as long as you like and you can keep attaching as many chains as you like as well. So that's kind of the nice thing about this. So the last thing that you do, it's as simple as can be, have these two brand new beads I got and I'm really pleased with them. They're um, just crystal point uh, gemstone beads, reasonably priced. I'll have the link to, for where I got them. So thread your wire through and you're going to be a little bit more generous with how much wire comes uh, through than you would with a briolet wrap. And that's really because this is a flat top and it's a little bit more tricky when you're wrapping it. So uh, keep that in mind and take your time. It's not something you want to rush. And you can again use uh, more inexpensive wire if you're practicing and then once you have it mastered then you can use more expensive wire if you just, if you plan on using it. So now that I have that through I would say that's probably about a half an inch thereabouts. Bit, yeah. So then just bring it up alongside okay and then I'm just going to do a bend like that. Again if you prefer to use just a plain briolet then go to town, that'll work perfectly fine too. So now that that's like that, it's sort of in the middle of the bead. Bring your other one. I'm crossing it over just for a second, but again, we're not going to keep them crossed over. And sort of equal. Okay, and if you notice, it's already a little bit crooked. So you really have to compensate when you're wrapping this to make sure that it stays fairly straight. Okay, so just Make sure it's straight before you start wrapping it, and that's going to make it a lot easier for you to keep your uh, maintain it uh, hanging straight. And that's sort of how you want to, you don't want it to be, uh, to be crooked. So now I'm just going to make a loop, standard loop, right at the top of that, that uh, original wire that I did right there. 
Okay, now slide that loop right on to the chain. Okay, right onto the loop. And there you go. And now this is where we're going to wrap. And again, this is where you're going to take your time. No rush. You want to get it right. And it's really important to, um, to not become frustrated because it's not working out the way you want it to. So just grab hold of that circle, keep the chain out of the way, and then just start to wrap around. And I brought those wires up pretty tall so that I have more time to work into this wire wrap. I'm working with about a foot and a half of 24 gauge wire. Um, you probably can go right down to a 26 if you want. Uh, it's really according to your bead and, and uh, the hole and so forth. So now I've gotten to this point right here. Okay, now this is where I really have to maintain it being straight. And if I, if I uh, let it go, it'll go 100% crooked and I have done it. So I know it for a fact that will happen. So now I'm taking my time slowly wrapping around here trying to capture that there's no point to capture so it's going to be a little bit more like i said a little more time no point so just keep working it keep it straight have a look if it's not straight straighten it with your fingers bring it back okay and if you notice it's trying to wiggle away again and this this is what happens so now i'm just going to loosely capture that if i loosely capture it then it'll be in place and I can just wrap around it some more. So right now that's the most important part. Just loosely capture it. I'm going to go right down to there if you can see. Now just kind of continue to wrap right down. And again, this is a lot further down than you would with a briolet. You have to kind of take one wire down and you notice there's all that space in between. We're just going to fill that up now. But the important thing is, we've got that in the right place. So now I'm just wrapping some more, and this is just sort of finishing it up. And if there's some spaces, it's okay, because I think with a crystal point, it's kind of a cool look to have a little space there. So just keep working it. Have Use as much wire as you have, or if you want to trim it, you can. I'm just going to work back up that base a little bit and use all this wire. Last little bit, tuck it in. And then that would that would give me my and and you notice it, it hangs straight. Now, if you want to go back and you want to just kind of push some of those wires a little bit, don't do, don't go too too aggressively, but just a little bit, just to sort of fit, fit it in. Place. Now you have your two crystal points. Okay, the way it should be worn is you would just kind of tie this in sort of a loose knot. And then you, know, you would wear it like that, and then you would have your knot. Now, that knot is pretty stable usually. So if you wanted to have your uh, your knot a little bit more permanent, um, where it's you're not going to worry that it's going to fall out or anything like that, you're just going to um, arrange your points the way you want them, like that, and then then just come up a little bit where you want the knot to be. Slide your a jump ring through the loop through the. Um, the links, one link and then the other side, and then just close that up, okay? And once that's closed, you can tie your knot right in that section. And if you see, it's always gonna be connected. So now this is where you would just tie your knot, and then sort of right in that circle area. Now another look, I'm just going to quickly show you, I've already got this chain put together, it's 36 inches. This is a lighter chain, so I have two charms, and instead of wrapping, if you don't want to wrap, if that's not your thing, then just get some kind of cool charms, and you can get these re relatively inexpensively. What I like to do is I like to just take these um, necklaces, take apart what I want, and just kind of make something new with it, and you know, just kind of work, work um, your own ideas. So then you just add this other amethyst crystal point here. And I've left the loops on from the old chain, so just so it's easier. Uh, again, I put two chains together. So just add the jump ring, close them up. And 
And so you would have these two charms, and it would be the same concept. You would just kind of take them, tie one knot, two, tie two knots if you want. If if that's what you prefer, tie two. You know, and uh, have one longer than the other. Before you pull it tight, just make sure you sort of know what what it looks like and how how uh, you want it to hang. So this concludes the tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for coming. Bye for now.